Okay, today I'm gonna hook up a SPD, search protection device. I'm gonna hold it up from what you can see. It's eaten, it looks like it's upside down, there you go. Um, if, you, if you look, I've got a threaded coupling, half inch, and a threaded offset nipple, half inch. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it. And this is a panel that's not made up, it's just we've rubbed it in, and you can see how well we've done it um, to make it really nice. Um, for the homeowner and then you can see we got two feeders in um, one is a sub feed for a sub feed breaker um, panel in the basement the other one is for emergency generator that goes through the wall they cannot run through the same chase nipple as the power so they've got to be separated and so if we look at this I'm gonna go around the corner as you can see we came in with a inch and a half LB this is a generac automatic transfer switch 200 amp and then this is their meter and we got a frost free slip nipple there it's three inch it goes into the ground um, it's got a 36 inch sweep on it three inch um, where the utility company will bring in and then we've got it grounded right there all this is going to be in concrete um, so give you an idea and then we ran an additional cable and um, cat six cable up to the attic for antenna use so just give you an idea what we're doing today. Um, so one thing what we want to do is when we install this, it's going to be, sorry about this, turn it around. We want to be able to offset it so it sits flush with the wood, okay? We're talking this part right here that just sticks out like a half inch. So it's going to sit back like this. We're going to find a uh, uh, knockout, which is going to be this one right here. You can see me pushing it in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up. I'll show you what it looks like, um, very simple. And then we just put a lock nut on it, which is right here. It's a half inch lock nut. So um, let me put it in, I'll show you what it looks like. And this is what it should do, whether you're cutting it into the sheetrock or whether you're doing new construction like this. Okay, I've been Okay, I've installed the SPD, as you can see how it sits right there. I put a screw on the, actually on the back of it so they can't push it through, but underneath, you can see which knockout I used. And I used a screwdriver and a hammer just to tap that lockout ring tight so that it'd hold it in place. Now you've got, you've got wires here. Which ones do I hook up? The red one, the black one, go to the breaker which is I already said in here which is a two pole 15 amp this type of model um, of SPD only requires a 15 amp some people say well what about a 50 or something like that well you need to follow manufacturer's recommendation here's the neutral wire goes to the neutral bar here's the ground goes to the ground wire now if you look at here some will say well you know you got neutrals and grounds mixed up how is that well you see this bar right here this is a dead panel by all means let me tell you that it's it's dead let's flip the breaker off anyways it's dead we have no power to this panel we have no meter in on the outside let me just show you as you can see there's the meter socket they haven't brought any power into this place at all so anyways when you do this just be make sure you shut off the breaker if you're not an electrician so this whole bus bar is completely dead you could touch the wires, never hurt, okay? There's no power at this point. And when you when people look at this and say, well, you got your grounds and your neutrals mixed up, well, here is what they call a snap-on neutral bar for Eaton. This right here connects right over here, and it connects next to the neutral. So it's all connected in. So it doesn't matter which way you land your neutrals or your grounds on which side. It really doesn't. Some people are finicky about that, and you just do what you feel is right. But if you, if you look at it, it's, it's all connected. In a, <clears throat> sorry, in a sub panel, it is not connected and you do have to separate them. You will not see this connecting bar from one point to, um, to the other side. If you do that, it's gotta be separated. So normally they'll put a ground bar separate on the can itself, on the can itself and not tie it into the neutral bar at all. So, but it does have to be separated in a sub panel, not in a main panel like this. So anyways, um, I'll show you another view of it once we get done. All the wires are short. They don't come very long, about 12 inches. 
so we just have to extend them down to here and be able to hook up the breaker. Okay, so we've got it in, as you can see, and then we just put some wire nuts on to extend the wires. We use 14 gauge because we can use 14 gauge up to 15 amps, and after that, up to 20, you have to use 12. So you can see about how far I shook the wire. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in here, and then I'm gonna tighten it down. But also what I'm using here this is a square tip screwdriver. You're welcome to buy one, use one. Uh, most breakers come that way now, so you can use it or you can use a flat blade. Do not use a Phillips screwdriver. So what we're doing is just tightening down the wires. Just really snug, should be it. Um, there is a, a torque specification in the back of the code book to do this, but honestly, just you just want it really snug. You don't want it over tight. Um, there's that's the reason why they do a torque um, so you don't over tighten them but then after that I want you to check give it a good pull um, in that aspect um, if you if you question about how to put these um, breakers in they're real simple just put some pressure and they pop right out okay and then what happens is these locks right here will work on the back side of the breaker and they lock in and all you do is You'll feel them snap in, and then you just, sorry about the video, but um, since I don't have anyone here to help me, then you just push it, and that's it. And if you have any problems like here, you'll see like this breaker has not been reset or anything because we have no power to this panel at all, and it's just sort of flimsily done just because they want some power in the um, building in the house when they um, do all the sheet rocking and all that so they have some outlets here. Um, as you can see, we've furnished some, a GFI out here in the garage and one inside the house so that they'll have power when the utility comes in. So if you ever, here's another thing, if you ever have a GFI that, or a breaker that trips, it'll go into the mis middle. What you want to do is push it all the way to the off and you'll hear that clicking noise and then reset it. But if it pushes like this and it's in the middle and you try to go like that, guess what? It really doesn't reset it. It might look like it but it won't reset it. Sometimes it'll stay that position, but since these are new and there's no power, it's not gonna stay. So if you fail to turn it all the way off to reset a breaker and hear that click, it won't ever reset and you'll never get power out. So just a tip on resetting breakers. And if it trips right away, call an electrician or find someone who knows about electrical to find out why it's tripping. So good luck with your project. Like I said, it's very simple half inch steel coupling, half inch offset nipple. You got a half inch ring to go around it. As you can look right up there, just snug it up real tight. This part right here, there's like a little lip that goes all the way around. This is the only thing that should be around the sheet rod. But if you are cutting this in and you're doing this, then go ahead and cut around the, the whole part right here because you have a kit that's got, um, that'll come with the plate that'll cover all that. So, um, and then you've got your two little screws holes here, one on each side that that plate fits and it'll um, cover up your sheet rock. So if you're cutting this in, cut around the whole SPD here, and then um, go ahead and, and slide it and, and slip it down and you should be able to, like I said, you, you want to choose one of the front ones not one of the back ones unless you absolutely have to then you'll then this thing here will move over this way so good luck on your project hope you've learned something thanks